In this tutorial, I will show you how to format the chart area of a chart. So first of all, what you're going to need is a chart. If you don't already have one, go ahead and make it. And now, one thing to note is that formatting the chart area is very much like formatting the plot area. First, what you're going to want to do, select the chart, right click, format chart area, and then this little box comes up. Now there are three tabs, the Patterns tab, the Font tab, and the Properties tab. The first thing I'm going to go to is the Properties tab. Now before you format anything, it's good to make sure to go here. Under Object Positioning, you have three choices. Move and Size with Cells, Move but Don't Size with Cells, and Don't Move or Size with Cells. Now, what this is referring to is that when you have a worksheet and you have a chart in that worksheet, if you're adding or removing data, it can actually move or resize the chart that you have in that worksheet. If you already have the size and all the data represented exactly how you want in the chart, it's a very good idea to go ahead and check don't move or size with cells. What this means is that if you put a chart in one position and you add and remove data, that changes the cells that that chart is over or changes the rows and columns the chart is not going to move or change with size or change with the cells but if you've selected or keep at default move and size with cells if you change the width of a column that the chart lies over then the chart width will also change if you change move but don't size with cells if you're making a cell bigger or you're changing it that way, the chart will move, but it will not change in size. So the best bet, or your best thing, is to probably click Don't Move or Size with Cells, and that'll make sure that no matter what, your chart does not get messed up when you're adding or removing data. So that's one good thing to make sure of. Now, if we go to the Font tab, here you can change the font, the style, and the size, and all of these other options for all of the text in the chart. It'll change it all at once instead of you having to right click and do it separately. For instance, let's go ahead and change the font type. Let's make it medium bold. Let's make it smaller. So font size of 8. We're not going to have an underline, although you can have a single or a double underline on everything. But we will change the color so it's more noticeable. We'll make it red. The other thing, you can give your text a strike through, a superscript, or a subscript. Now, just to see what it looks like, once you've changed the font settings, click OK. And you'll notice that everything, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the legend has changed. It's made it red, changed the size, everything we did on the font tab is applied to all of the other aspects of the chart. Now, if you want to change, say, the x-axis to make that black again, all you have to do is right-click over one of the category axis, click Format Axis, and go to the Font tab in the Format Axis. Let's make that black. Click OK. And you'll notice that now that's black. So, you can do Format Chart Area to change all of them, and then if you want one set of text to go back to a different font setting, you have to right click that specifically and change how it will look. Now let's go back to the chart area, right click, format chart area, and let's go to the patterns tab. The patterns tab will allow you to change the border and the background color of the entire chart. So what you see is white right now will change. Let's go ahead, in the area box, let's select a different color, say green, and now that's going to make the chart background green. In the border, we can give it a border or we can leave it without a border. Let's give it a custom border, select the color of the border, let's say red. Now I'm only choosing these colors so that it will stand out so it's easier to see. The style of the line, we can make it any one of these styles. I will select a dashed version. And the weight. The weight determines the thickness of the line. So I'm going to make it a little thicker. Now when I click OK, you'll notice that the chart is green with a red border that is dashed. 
Now let's go right click, format chart area, let's put it back to a white background, and we'll change the color of the line to black, but we will still keep it a dashed. Now, much of this is exactly like when you format the plot area. For example, let's go to the fill effects. Here, what you can do is add more than just regular color to the background of the chart. You can add a gradient, and what that is is one color transitioning into another. You can choose one color, say red, make it darker or lighter, and you'll notice that the variance and the sample both change. The sample is what the gradient will be. The variance are a selection that you have. So the final way it's going to look is what you select from variance. And you notice when I click these different styles, the sample changes. If you want to have two colors, click two colors underneath the colors, and you can select what color red will go into. Say yellow. There it kind of looks fiery. And then you can select the gradient. So the background will look like the sample right here. Also you can select how it shades. So horizontal gradient, vertical, diagonal up, etc, etc. I'll stick with the horizontal, select OK. Now you'll notice the background looks like the gradient I selected. Now if you want to take any of that off, in the area box click none or select whatever color you want. I'll select white here. The other tabs on the fill effects are texture, pattern, and picture. Texture allows you to select any one of these for the background of the chart, say white marble, and the sample shows what it will look like. Or you can select a texture from your computer by clicking other texture. The pattern tab allows you to select two colors, a foreground and a background color, and then select any one of these patterns to be the background. Once again, what's in the sample box is what's going to be the background. Now, the final tab is the picture tab. This allows you to insert a picture as the background of your chart. So if you go to select picture, navigate to the correct directory on your computer, and select a picture. What you'll see here is now this picture will become the background for the entire chart. Now you can do that with any picture on your computer. Once again I'll take that off by going into the area box and selecting a white background and then clicking OK. Now that's how you can format the chart area. Also, you can format the legend over here. If you notice, whenever we selected a background color or a picture for the chart area, the background in the legend did not change. How you do that is hover your mouse over the legend in the white space, click, right click, click Format Legend, and then a box will appear that looks exactly like the one for the chart area. You can change the border or the area of the legend exactly like you changed it for the chart options. We'll give it a light blue background. In addition, you can change the font. If you want the font of the legend to be separate from everything else, let's go ahead and make that black just so you can see it change. And then the only different tab is the placement tab. So if we want the legend at the top instead of the bottom, we can click top, or I mean instead of the right, click top, or you can put it in any one of these other places, bottom, corner, top, right, left. The other thing to notice is that on the patterns tab you once again have the fill effects. On the fill effects it is exactly like it was for the chart area. So you have gradient, texture, pattern, and picture. So you can have a separate picture for the legend background, separate picture for the chart area background, and also a separate picture for the plot area background. We'll just leave that like it is for now and click OK. And you'll notice that now the legend is at the top, it has a blue background, and the text is black instead of red. So that's how you can format the chart area as well as the legend.